My name is Mary Kane. We're at 1945 Speed and Custom right here in Troy, New York. So we're here with my car, a 1995 M3. You know, it's funny, I've owned, I don't know, a hundred cars in my lifetime, many of them being BMWs. I've had, you know, newer cars, older cars. They're just something about this car, this chassis. The connection to the road is absolutely incredible, like nothing you've ever felt before. I bought this car just about eight years ago from my brother. My brother is a car collector among other things and when he had it, he had his own spin on it. So I knew if I was gonna buy it, I wanted to personalize it a little bit for myself also. Took it back to totally stock. If I was going back to stock wheels, that meant I had to lower the spoiler in the back. I mean, cause I couldn't have a high spoiler in stock wheels. I would feel like I was wearing an evening gown with sneakers and that was, that was not okay. I just want to do something special with this car, especially because of the lineage, but truly like this chassis, the E36M is by far the best car to me that's ever been built. I came to Cars and Coffee here at 1945 Speed and Custom and met Jeremy and saw the cars that he was building. And I love to see the combination, you know, really the juxtaposition between, you know, Japanese styling, you know, mix in a little like, European flair, and then all of a sudden I just, I just knew, I could see the car done and it literally was still stock. Like I could just picture what I wanted it to become someday. And it wasn't until this one day he said, oh, you're gonna love these. I found, check these out, Momo Heritage wheels. And literally the second I saw them, I could pick, the whole car was done in my mind. So when it came to picking the right wheels for this car, it's a very straight bodied car. It has like literally no curves on it. and. You know, to me, the wheel not only had to kind of support the shape of the vehicle, but the wheel had to be, you know, period correct or have that same vibe as the car. You know, it being a 95, it came out right when I was starting to drive myself. My first car was an old BMW, and I like anything from that era that, you know, just feels right. I mean, heck, I, I think even back then I had like, the Momo seatbelt pad at the time because I felt very authentic in it. And when it came to building this car and, and putting all the components together, they had to support what the car is inherently itself. The car gets done. I'm so excited to be able to take it out because it looks, you know, just as good as I had ever hoped it to be. And then I hear him say, I scheduled you a photo shoot for the car. I'm like, oh, really? Like, oh my goodness, I've never, I've never had a photo shoot. I mean, I can take a gazillion pictures of it with my iPhone, but to have something special like that meant everything. And then he goes on to say, or maybe I overheard, that the photo shoot was gonna be done at the Empire State Plaza, which is literally like my favorite place in the world. It's iconic. I mean, it, the egg, the, the buildings, it's the capital of New York State. I was absolutely in tears. And we were getting done with the photo shoot and next thing you know, he comes over and I think he's helping me pose better in front of the car. And then he got down on one knee and proposed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just when you think like things can't get any better or crazier. It was like the cherry on top to all of it.